Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. So I call this slinging the arch and curl just because you're doing an arch and curl with the sling. Um, for many of my clients, we're really working on finding the wheel of the pelvis, like in in both directions, anterior and posterior. And then I like using the sling to help bring more awareness into the spine itself and how the spine reacts to that arch and curl of the pelvis. And so um, I use the sling here. I have two long yellow springs and I think I'm gonna put them right at the top highest position. And then you just bring the sling onto the back of their body. So you could do this with the legs extended, um, knees slightly bent. For many of my clients who I'm working on this with, they have a lot of trouble getting up onto their sitting bones. So you could even do this in a crisscross applesauce. So the idea is that you're using the sling to help to bring awareness into the thoracic spine. The arms are extended and gently reaching towards the springs. They're not grabbing on. And then you just cue the pelvis. So I start with a posterior tilt. And as the pelvis tips back, I feel the back body blooming into the sling and as I reach up and climb to my tall sitting bones I come into more of a neutral spine and I can feel the springs inviting the spine to go in the other direction so we can work specifically more of that posterior to neutral and then you can even start to take it more anterior to neutral but Again, cueing from the pelvis. So they have to have a lot of awareness of when they're neutral and when they're slightly past it. And as you're working here, you have the sling to provide the contrast of what the spine is doing. So if I'm wanting to lift forward without splaying, right, I can cue the pelvis forward, but to keep the back ribs blooming into the sling. And so it's just a really nice feedback tool to be able to teach arch and curl and getting a good wheel of the pelvis with the support of the sling. Now, if your clients um, are too tight, even to sit in this position, you could, of course, take a sitting box and set them up on the box. So they're still set up with the sling, but now their feet are below their hips and they can have a lot more access to the range of motion of the pelvis even while using the sling. You may have to back the box up enough to get enough tension, but you can play with that and adjust it accordingly. So that is slinging the arch and curl. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. See you next time and never stop learning.